Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today is uh Sunday. This is Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Today is Sunday. And what I'm going to talk about today is people that feel entitled. People that uh, want, want you to show them unconditional love, but they feel like they don't have to give it to you. Trick no good. It's never going to happen. I've had two people do that to me. I'm giving and giving and giving it and I received nothing. So when I upped and left with no notice, now they sitting like, oh shit, like, uh, she gone and she, and I never, and I'm not coming back. So don't expect me to come back because I give people chance after chance, after chance, after chance, after chat. And when I leave, I don't look back. Because I give people enough time, you know, sometimes you got to give people enough rope to hang themselves. So when I do bounce, it ain't no turning back. I'm on to the next phase of my life. It, it, it is what it is, you know, and you give people. I gave each of them three years to get their shit together. When the three year mark come and I don't see no change, I bounce. Ain't no sister staying here because if I don't see it, it's like a hamster on a damn wheel. You turning and turning, but you going no fucking where. I don't have time for that. Life is too short. And then I'm on to the next phase of my life. I'm going to give another dude, all the rest of the dudes that want to get with me, I'm going to give them a chance. And when they get their three years is up, if they uh, if I don't see no growth, I'm on to the next one. And that's just how it is. This is this is this is how it's going to be. I'm sorry, but I don't have time to be sitting with people that are almost 50 years old that don't have their shit together. It's either spiritually, financially. One had, had he had it together spiritually, but he didn't have it together psychologically and um, financially. The other one had it together financially, but he was dumber than a box of rocks. Have no no social personal skills whatsoever. Fake and phony. I knew the real him, but then we be on social media. He acting like he this, but you really wasn't that. And see, that's why I, you know, I hate when people hide behind facades. I hate that shit. Because me, I'm real across the board. I always have been since I've been little. See, and when you hide behind, when you hide behind a facade, that means you phony as fuck. I can't fuck with you if you phony. And that's just how it's going to be. Okay, let's laugh. <laughs> Whew, me and my cousin was talking the other day and they, she thought I was asleep. So she snuck and gave um, my little cousin the divan. And when, when, when I woke up and she was like, oh, shit, she had this look on her face. I said, so you going you thought I was asleep. And I said, I just wanted to see if you was going to give her the keys to that van. Now, she didn't tore up two vans this year, two. And I said, this is the only vehicle you got to get back and forth to your doctor's appointments. And she and she was sitting there and she tried to get loud and I got loud right back with her. And see, I'm tip for tat. Now, I'm going to hit you with facts. And when you hit somebody with facts, that's like punching them in the face over and over and over again. And I know how to hit, hit you with the facts. <laughs> she couldn't even take it. She said, well, that's my fucking van. I said, no, the van belongs to God. I said, he just letting you use it. Oh, she she was like. I said, you need to go read Proverbs about, you know, God is he you're a temporary steward of what God put down here. It's not yours. It's God's. Yeah, I had to bring her down to planet Earth. And she shut the fuck up, too. I see. I know how to shut them up. <laughs> Don't play with me. But anyway, I had to let y'all know that. But these people keep. uh <sighs> In a twilight zone. Sit back and watch people like a case study because they'll show you them all the time. Y'all have a happy Sunday. Love you.